Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So glad you tuned in today. <clears throat> Say today, as you can tell by the uh, the title, it's Ten Perfect Records. And <clears throat> at first glance, I pulled a bunch of records out and I said, well, you know, I've talked about this, I've talked about that. <clears throat> Let's not talk about the same records all the time. I'm going to try to pull out some different stuff. And very, very worthy records, right? Moving Pictures by Rush. This is a perfect record. Every song on this record is fantastic, as are a lot of Rush records, but this is probably my favorite Rush record. This really demonstrates Neil Peart's uh, virtuoso on, on the drums. Uh, <clears throat> there was a fellow at work, he said to me, you know, Ron, Neil Peart is not a drummer, he's a percussionist, because that's exactly what he was. He used the drums in a way that was an instrument that actually played music as well as, you know, kept the beat. And the fantastic, this is a original Canadian pressing. Comes with that really big, thick inner sleeve. And it's on the uh, Anthem Rush label. So that's really nice. And good sound on this. I got the Direct Metal Master and I compared it here a while back. And this is every good as bad as, as good as that. Of course, that's going to be a digital record now, that Direct Metal Master that came out here a few years ago. I just thought this had a little bit more bass on it than the Master did. But that Master had a lot of drive and a lot of punch and a lot of energy that you get from the Direct Metal Mastering that this actually doesn't have on it. And let's talk about another Canadian band. <clears throat> this is a band called The Tragically Hip. This is a record called Day for Night. And this is one of those records from the 90s where the OG is on Obtainium and they did have reissued it now on a nice gatefold. And they took what was the original one record, right? And they put it on two LPs. And there is a lot of really really good songs on this record again every song on here is fantastic if you're not familiar with the tragically hip here's a record you might enjoy uh, i've talked about a couple other of their records and so this is probably one of my newest ones that i've got because they have just started reissuing these records here that were really uh, unobtainium right for the many many years and so really glad to have this record finally in the collection And here's another record. Now this one isn't isn't as much of what you call unobtainium. This is a more easier record to get a hold of. This is an 80s record, uh, late 80s. And this is a, I think it's a, actually a promo that I bought. Yeah, even comes with the uh, with the promo picture. I'm gonna have to put that in the frame and included in my promo presentations that I'm currently doing. You can see on the back wall we got Pink Floyd today. And it's on the as you can see I got the hype sticker on the on the inner sleeve. This is one of their first records that they actually put out. Blow at High Doe. 38 years old. New Orleans is sinking. It's like three of their best songs ever on this record right here. And it doesn't matter if you take uh, New Orleans is Sinking, even Blow High Doe, any of those songs. People have never heard uh, Tragically Hip. You put those songs on and they're like, whoa, who's this? I get, they, uh, they, they all ask. They all want to know who it is because it's, and it gets to everybody's attention. We're at, the, the kids are upstairs, they're listening to music. I put this on. They all put their phones away. They all start listening. Yeah, gets their attention because it's so good on this record right here. I mean, it's so good. Let me see if it's a... Yeah, it's a promo. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a promo. I actually bought that in, uh, in Jacksonville years ago. Canadian Pressing in Jacksonville. And now talking about Jacksonville, here's a band from Jacksonville, Florida. Leonard Skinner's Street Survivors. 
everybody knows about the flame cover and the play accident and then they reissued the record on this and it's kind of funny there's a lot of folks at work they'll say you know I, ron you like records right yeah yeah i got a record a really really rare record i said what, what you got that Leonard Skinner album with the flames on it. I said, whoa, yeah, that's super rare. You're really lucky to get that. That's an amazing record. Now, it's not really so hard to get any, as people you know, if you really look for it, you can find it. And this is an original Japan pressing. So this is really a nice, big, thick, gorgeous gatefold. Got the inner sleeve uh, inside of the gatefold. And again, Every song on this record is a standout, is great. From one end, you, you listen to one side, it's one of those records, you put it on, you have to flip it over, you gotta listen to the other side. This is what you mean about a perfect record, right? That type of uh, engagement that you get. I wanna talk about a couple of Rolling Stones records here, kind of in the same breath. And they're perfect records in the fact that, you know, they're greatest hits records, right? High Tide and Green Grass. And this is a, the first edition on this Japanese. Let's have a look at the inside of the gatefold on this. Really nice. Everybody's familiar with this record. Right? Paint it black. It's all over now. The last time. Come on. Can't get no satisfaction. Get off my cloud. Nervous breakdown as time is on my side. Come on, this is hit after hit after song after song. Fantastic. You'll notice a lot of times Japanese, you'll see they have a red OB on it. This is the, the o, I compared them, this one here. Yeah, this is the one to get. Hard to find, 1600 yen. So you know that's early record here. Again, same thing here. It's not the, uh, the cut corner version. Inside of the gatefold. Back cover. And we're talking about Jumping Jack Flash, Mother's Little Helper, 2,000 Light Years from Home, Let's Spend the Night Together, You uh, Street Fighting Man, She's a Rainbow, Ruby Tuesday, Honky Tonk Woman. I mean, come on. You can't talk about a more perfect record with all that stuff on it. Then the both of these, I mean, if you don't have Rolling Stones records and you want to get all the good, all the old stuff, yeah, these two right here, my friends. And there's another greatest hits that's a little bit in the early, later on the 70s. Those three together, boom. Fantastic. Let me put that book back in there so I... Don't get mixed up later on. That's the nice thing about the Japanese records. They always get some type of an insert in there too. You get all the lyrics. Information, pictures. Right? Nice to have stuff like that. What we got next, Ron? We got Hawkwind. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And this is a nice foil cover. This is another Japanese first edition on the gatefold cover. You don't see too many on a gatefold. The, first, the original that I bought in Canada was just a single cover. It was not a gatefold and it was not this nice foil like this too. The original UK is like this. And this is the Japanese pressing. And what I love about it the most is the label. Right? That beautiful Liberty label. And the sound on this thing is fantastic. Again, you get a nice a nice book inside the record. Bunch of pages, pictures, lyrics. Really nice item. And one of them, again, one of them perfect records. Every song on here is fantastic from one end to the other. There's about three, three, four in a row of these Hawkwind records all in the early 70s. That's, they're all my favorite Hawkwind records. 
<clears throat> now here's is one record that I have talked about, but I never talk about this record enough because this is another perfect record by one of the best guitarists ever, Robin Trower, 1974, I think this record is. What a masterpiece. This is one again, one of those records you put side one on, you have to flip it over because you can't, you haven't had enough yet. This is just a, such a great, great record. Okay, Pink Floyd, Animals. This is a Japanese press, of course, and it does come on a gatefold. Turn it around. Don't have to say much about this record. Like, you know, it's a perfect record. You play side one, you gotta play the other side because you just haven't got enough sheep and pigs, and, right? Dogs, you need all that. You need to have more of that. Here's a record here I don't think gets enough love. This is another perfect record right here. Every song on this record is a standout. It is a fanta fantastic record. Now this is not a gatefold, but it is the original press, 2200 yen. And this thing comes jam packed. I think it's got three posters in it and the original big thick inner sleeve. But I'm not gonna take all the stuff out of here. But let's just talk about, move the OB over. I can see the track listing, right? Band on the Run, Jet, Bluebird, Mrs. Vanderbilt, Let Me Roll It, Mamania, No Words, Picasso's Lost Words, 1985. What a bunch of fantastic. Paul McCartney outdid himself on this record. This fantastic stuff on here, folks. Love this record again. You have to listen to the whole record when you listen to it. And I wanted to mention about <coughs> my uh, Robin Trower record. This is a, uh, a Friday music reissue. And I did have the original of this and this Friday music one did sound better. This is a nice record right here. Here's something that doesn't get talked enough about in the VC. This is a band called Porcupine Tree. And this is a double album and a UK pressing. This, again, there's a couple, two, three in a row from the uh, 2000, when did this come out? I should have looked at it earlier, I did not. 2007, around that five, six, seven, eight, ten in there, man, man, they did some great stuff. They have a lot of great records, don't get me wrong, but I really think this is a perfect example of Porcupine Tree, and it's a perfect, perfect record and if you don't know about this band you like progressive you like kind of harder rock stuff have a listen to porcupine tree this is fear of a blank planet it's a fantastic record donald fagan the nightfly you all know about this record this is a perfect record every song on it again it's so good you got to flip it over just a really really great you know New Frontier, The Nightfly, The Goodbye Look, Max Ruby Baby, Maxine. Man, everybody loves that stuff. That's a great, great record right there. <clears throat> Here's a Van Morrison record, Moon Dance. I think a lot of people think this is one of his best ever records. I really enjoy this. This is a nice uh, Rhino reissue from about... 09 or so I think it came out <clears throat> and they did a fantastic job just kind of like you know it's on 33 but it's on that nice stout and jacket on a nice big gatefold cover nice picture of the boy in the back and I'm uh, I'm showing this record for my cousin Jeff I want him to uh, understand how much I really think this is a perfect record here and it's on that green Warner brother but this is the uh, Kevin Gray remaster at Acoustech pressed at RTI 
all those records I've talked about them many times, how great they are. I mean, just look how thick that, that gatefold cover is. It's just so, so better than the original. I did have the original. This was three, four times better sounding than the original ever was because it's remastered by Kevin Gray on Modern Equipment. Warner Brothers, we've got all the original tapes here in this country and they can make a fantastic sounding records with, when you get this stuff. Here's another perfect record. I think most people will agree, Roxy Music Best. Every song on here, it takes you on a trip, this record does. It's so beautiful. Fantastic record, Avalon. I don't have to get into a lot of detail, but if you're not familiar with Roxy Music, <clears throat> you're not sure about, get Avalon. This is a fantastic record here. And of course, it's on the Japanese pressing. Super audiophile sound on that record. And last but not least, is we have Joni Mitchell. This is Court and Spark. This is another, originally from 1974, but redone at Acoustech by Kevin Gray. And, uh, so, so faithful to the originals. All embossed on here. And a beautiful artwork by Joni Mitchell on the cover. Beautiful gatefold cover. Nice, big, thick, stout and jacket on there. And the sound on this record is, is amazing. This is the record I've talked about before a couple times. That a friend of mine, he used to, when I went over to his house, he, he always played this record. And so I decided one day, I was living in Canada at the time. There's a lot of, you know, Court and Sparks on here. Free Man in Paris is on here. Uh, Raised on Robbery. Like, those were all big hits on the radio at the time. But every song on here is fantastic. I got to listen to this record because it's a Canadian original that I originally had. And the sound was so good on that record. I just played it so much because of the beauty of the record and I just got to love every song on this record. It's so, so good. So that'll be conclude the video now for my 10 top perfect records. And I'm thinking to do another video here. Maybe today I'll do it is the uh, give me 10 illustrated covers. I got some pretty cool covers we're going to show. We can talk about some different records. Like I tried to do today, just not pick, you know, the, the obvious choices. Pick some records that people don't maybe talk about as much. And thanks everybody for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for liking the video. I really appreciate that a lot. And bye for now.